Tara Badminton has been growing globally and is now in all five continents and in more than 70 countries. As a member of the International Paralympic Committee, the Badminton World Federation, or BWF, is responsible for regulating, promoting and developing para-badminton globally. The inclusion of badminton in the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games, for the first time, is another example of how the sport continues to grow worldwide. Let's now take a close look at the overview and classification of para-badminton. As in badminton, para-badminton athletes compete in men's and women's singles, men's and women's doubles and mixed doubles. Competitive matches are played using the same scoring system as badminton, with a match consisting of the best of three games up to 21 points. To ensure fairness in para-badminton, athletes are classified into six sport classes. Wheelchair 1, Wheelchair 2, Standing Lower 3, Standing Lower 4, Standing Upper 5 and Short Stature 6. Let's find out more about each sport class. There are two wheelchair sport classes in para-badminton, Wheelchair 1 and Wheelchair 2. Athletes in these sport classes usually have an impairment in one or both lower limbs and an impairment of the trunk. Generally, the difference is the level of upper body and trunk function of athletes. Wheelchair singles is played on a half court, with the area in front of the service line being out of bounds. In wheelchair one and two singles, athletes compete in their own sport class. Wheelchair doubles and mixed doubles are played on a full court, with the area in front of the service line being out of bounds. In wheelchair doubles and mixed doubles, it's possible to mix wheelchair sport classes. However, two wheelchair two athletes are not permitted to compete together. Standing lower three athletes have impairments in one or both lower limbs and face difficulties with balance. Standing lower three athletes play singles on a half court the most commonly used strokes are clears, drops, nets and lifts. However, fast flat strokes and smashes are also often used. Standing lower four athletes may have impairments in one or both lower limbs and they will have lesser impairment in balance compared to standing lower three athletes. Standing lower four athletes play singles on a full court. The technical and tactical aspects of the standing lower four sport class are very similar to those of able-bodied athletes. There may be some adaptations to movements and players with an impairment in the lower body may experience fatigue more quickly. Standing upper five athletes have an impairment in the upper limbs, mainly to the non-racket hand or arm. Athletes in this sport class are not permitted to use upper body prosthetics when competing. Standing upper five athletes play singles on a full court. The technical and tactical aspects of the standing upper five sport class are very similar to those of able-bodied athletes. Standing doubles and mixed doubles are played on a full court. Partnerships can be formed using a combination of athletes from different standing sport classes. An up-to-date list of permitted pairings can be viewed on the official website corporate.bwfbadminton.com Short stature 6 athletes have a reduced length in the bones of the upper limbs, lower limbs and or trunk. Within this sport class there are maximum standing height and arm length measurements for male and female athletes. Short stature 6 athletes play singles and doubles on a full court. Due to their stature athletes will use more strides between strokes. However, many of the movement patterns from able-bodied badminton are used. With the continual effort of BWF to promote the sport, para-badminton is sure to grow and develop globally. This is badminton. One sport, one team.